Amen. Amen. Then he says what? He says, according as it is what? Written. Mm -hmm. Then he says, I believe. Based on what you have, what is the spirit of faith, you believe. Based on what you have, what is the spirit of faith, you believe. Say, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. You see, once you believe, once you believe, then you will receive. Once you believe, you will receive. It is by you believing that enables you to receive. So we all have the same spirit of faith. Amen? So once you believe things of God, you will receive. Amen? You will receive. Receive what? The promises that God has promised you. You'll receive it. Amen? According as it is written. My God. Amen? Amen? We believe. And therefore have I walked. And therefore I will walk. So saints of God, you got to speak what you believe. You got to speak what you believe. You got to speak what you believe. He said, if you believe it, you have to walk. Speak it. If you believe it, you have to walk. Speak it. You speak based on what you believe. You See, this is why that a lot of times that when we pray, and we pray and miss. And a lot of times we believe, but we believe the wrong things. And the wrong things come to pass. Because once you believe, you will receive it. Amen? So he says, he says, we speak. Amen? We speak. You speak it, right? Amen? You speak it, and what, what happens when you speak it? You believe it. So, listen here. You got to make sure that once you speak what the words say, you got to believe what the words say. Amen. This is not where you seen it or you feeling it. Believing have nothing to do with your seeing. Believing have to do with your faith Amen. and what God say about that situation. Believing don't have to do with how you feel. For example, you can pray for somebody and it seems like you pray for them and you ask them, this, do you believe? And they say, yeah, I believe. But then you are looking for something to happen. Amen. You're looking for them to be healed. But then in the natural eyes, you're not seeing them being healed. But they say they believe. So what happened now, based on their belief, they will receive their healing. Amen. It might not be right where you are, but I guarantee it, once they still believe it, they'll walk right in their healing. Because whatever you believe, you will receive. Whatever you believe, you will receive. We receive based on what we believe. You receive based on what you believe. If you don't believe, then you will not receive it. So, to pray according to the promise of God, we got to believe what we say. You got to believe what you say. You got to believe what you say. You can feel what you say, but you got to believe what you say. Don't try to feel what you say. Believe what you say. Don't try to see what you say. Believe what you say. Because you're trying to see it. Believe it for us. Believe us. Amen. These are, I'm, I'm telling you. Once you begin to pray according to the promise of God, and you begin to receive, based on what you believe, you will have. You will have it. You will have it. You will have it. Say, I will have it. I will have it. Say, I will have whatever I believe, I will have it. You see what I'm saying? See, when you, when you don't believe, 
Even though you start on the word of God, you pray the word of God, but you don't believe it. Because you're trying to feel it. You don't feel the word. You just have to believe it. You even see it. You just believe it. Amen. <laughs> so you must be totally persuaded. Amen. That I believe what God say, even though I don't see what he say. Amen. Amen. Say, so I have what he say. Even though you don't see what he say. You believe it before it manifests. Amen. You got to believe it first. What brings the manifestation is when you believe it. Once you believe it, it'll be impossible for you to receive it. Amen? Amen. It'll be impossible for you to receive it. And that's why things of God, that's why a lot of times we pray and we don't see nothing. We pray and we don't see nothing. Because you're looking, you're looking to see it. You know what I mean? You're looking to see it. You have to know. It has to be, you have to be totally persuaded that God's word is the truth. Amen. This is why we could we we, we open up uh, amen with with, 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 uh, with with Paul saying all of the promises of God in him is here and amen. That means that everything that is in Christ and everything that's in Christ is in you. Amen. Because if Christ is in you, everything that is in Christ is in you. So Pastor, but why are I seen it? You don't know you got it. You don't know what you got. You don't, you're walking around loaded right up. You're locked up, loaded, gifted, full of hope, full of amen capability. I don't even know. Don't even know. The Bible says in Hosea 4, 6, my people have been destroyed for the lack of knowledge. See, if you don't know what if you don't know what you have, you'll start living, you'll live like a beggar. Amen. Amen. You live like a beggar when you're supposed to live like a king. Amen. You live like a beggar. Because you don't know what rightly belongs to you. That's why the word of God is, the word of God will teach us what rightly belongs to us. Amen. And once the word of God shows you what belongs to you, it is up to you to speak it. You got to decree it. Amen. Amen. Start speaking it. Start speaking it. Somebody say speak it. Speak it. Not feel it. Speak it. You believe it. You believe it. You say it. And you will have it. I said you will have it. You will have it. Say, I will have it. I will have it. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm, and, and once you know that. Once you know. And you will have it. Let's go down to verse 16. Once you know. That you will have it. You will have it. Let's read from, from uh let's read from 16 to 18. Go ahead. For which cause we faint not. You hear that? For which cause we faint not. So what keeps you going is what you believe. What keeps you going and keeps you praying? Because you believe in the word. You believe the word of God. Amen. Once you believe the word of God, you will never faint. You can't faint. It's impossible for you to faint. You'll keep on going. You'll keep on going. You'll keep on going. Read. But though our outward man perish. Though your outward man perish. Though the natural man perish. You know the natural man. The natural man is so anxious for everything. Yeah. Oh, the natural man wanted now. Yeah. You know the natural man. I want it now. I want it now. Oh, I don't feel like that. I don't feel this. I don't feel that. I don't feel that. Oh, that's a waste of time. Oh, boy. The natural man. Oh, I'm just tired. I'm tired praying. Ain't nothing happening. The natural man wanted. He, he wanted. See, the natural man wanted two minutes blessing. Two minutes blessing. No. The natural man don't want to go through no process. Don't want to wait. Amen. Don't want to wait. But want a two, want a two minutes blessing. And so his problem moving. 
especially when you don't really pray about this problem, and the problem is still there. And I said, my God, what happened? I'm praying about this, and it's really... Go ahead, read. Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. So when the natural man is perished, the inward man, the spirit man, is renewed day by day. You, 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 have, you have a couple of words here. The natural man perishes, but the spiritual, the spirit man is renewed day by day. Go ahead. For our light affliction. You, somebody say light affliction. Light affliction. Somebody say light affliction. Light affliction. So whatever you're going through today, tonight, it is a light affliction. Whatever you're going through, whatever you're experiencing right now is a light affliction. Whatever you are, I don't care what it is, I don't care what marriage, I don't care how the devil try to make you see it, it's a light affliction. It's a light affliction. And if it's a light affliction, it means you can handle it. Amen. You can handle it, say I can handle it. Say so I can handle it. Amen. I mean, you will not give up. Amen. You will not give up. Amen. You will not allow, you will not get into it. You will not, not allow it to disqualify you. Amen. Light affliction. Someone say light affliction. Light, light affliction. affliction. Who tell you? I mean, God, I, who love the word of God? Yeah. Who love the word of God? Yeah. Yeah. Who love the word of God? Yeah. Love the word of God? Yeah. Hallelujah. Because the, the word of God can bring hope Hopeless. Amen. Yes, Lord. You can, you can have a, I mean, a negative day, and one word from God Amen. will change that day. Make I'm a you, one word from God. Hallelujah. One word from God will change that day because what? There's power. It's in the word. There's power, and there's life. It's in the word. There's peace. It's in the word. Everything that Jesus is, his word is. Amen. Hallelujah. You understand? Everything that Jesus is, his word is. Hallelujah. Because Jesus and his word, word is, is one. one. Hallelujah. I can't separate the word from Jesus. Hallelujah. Neither can I separate Jesus from the word. Hallelujah. So anytime when the word gets in your heart, it Jesus is in your heart. Your heart. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. And what Jesus enter in your heart, because anyone that ever experienced an encounter with God never go back. I'm telling you, never go back. What Jesus entered in, you ain't going back. You fall in love. You fall in love. Yes, death come, trial come, the devil throw everything, but you made up your mind that I'm going. Too much word in me. Too much Jesus in me. Hallelujah. Too much Jesus in me. Hallelujah. I will not settle for what the devil want me to settle for. Amen. Tell your neighbor, say, neighbor, I will not settle for what the devil want me to settle for. Say, my God is bigger than that. My God is bigger than that. You got to know that your God is bigger than that. That when the devil trying to make you settle for some stuff that is not you, you tell it that. You lying devil or not settle for that. Oh my God, is bigger than that. When the devil trying to make you see your problem, I want you to tell that devil, no, I'm not looking, I'm not dwelling on my problem, but I'm looking at my miracle. I'm looking at my victory. Because look here, I still overcome the problem. So that means you are what? You are victorious. Because you overcome the problems. And no problems can stop you. No problems can stop you. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God is life. Yes, Lord. It is life. It hope. It give hope to the hopeless. Hallelujah. I say he will give you hope. When you ain't got no hope, yes. he'll give you hope. Why? Because the Bible says hope is the anchor of our soul. Yes, and it's the word of God that anchor my soul. 
Amen. When something is anchored, it don't move. Amen. When something is anchored, it don't move. The wind stop. The, amen. The wind is blowing. The, the heart can come, but you're still standing. Amen. Storm comes, you're still Hallelujah. standing. Test comes, you're still standing. Because you're standing on the word of God. That's what's keeping you standing. That's what's keeping you alive. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. The word of God. The, word, the reason why you, you, amen, you gained victory last week because of the word of God. The word of God, the word of God, the word of God, the word of God. Ah, oh, I'm telling you, the word of God is life, it is living, it is active, it is powerful. I love it. I love the word of God. I, I love the feast in the word of God. I love the feast in the word of God. If you eat, if you feed your spirit more than you feed your flesh, my God, if you feed your spirit more than you feed your flesh, you'll start seeing God manifest into you. Yes. You, I'm telling you, you'll start, you'll start generating a power will be flowing out of you. If you start feeding your spirit more than you feed your flesh. Because whatever you feed, whoever you feed the most is going to be in rulership. Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. So it's every now and then it's good to put back the plate. Faster than pray. Put back the plate. Put back the plate. Put back the plate. I need more work. I need more. I need clarity. I need to come closer to God. So I got put back the plate. Turn off the television. Turn off the telephone. Or the cell phone. Or whatever phone you all got. Laptop, turn it off. Everything that you use to communicate, turn it off. Turn it off. Turn it off. Make a sacrifice. Hear from the Lord. The reason why we get clutter too much of the natural and not enough of the spiritual. I just say Holy Ghost. Too much of the natural and not enough of the spiritual. We are feasting on the natural, but we are not feasting. On the spiritual man shall live by man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeded out of the mother of God. Every word that proceeded out of the mother of God. So how you will live by the word? How you will live by the word? How you will survive by the word? How you will overcome by God's word? Yeah. Outside of the word of God, you can't do anything, and you're dead. Amen. You're dead. What keeps you alive and what keeps me alive is God's word. If you miss a day from getting the word of God, you just starve your spirit. You miss one day from getting the word of God, you starve your spirit. You, you, you put your spirit on diet. You put your spirit on a diet. One day, one day is so much. That's so much. My God, that's a lot of stuff that the devil is doing. Jesus. And it will affect you. It will affect the way you pray. It will affect the way, the way you, the way, the, the way you operate. You will not be tuned into the Spirit of God because why? One day can bring a major setback. One day, all the presence of God can bring a major setback. Sins of God. I'm talking to someone. One day, you might say, "It's only one day. One day." I mean, no, 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 no. That one day comes because whatever has happened in that day, you cannot redeem that time again. You lost that time. You can't redeem the time. If that time gone, you can't bring the time back. 
Es como. Es como. Es como. This is why I say to God, we got to feed our spirit more than we feed our flesh. And let the church say amen. Amen. Y'all ain't sound like y'all like that. Amen. That's true practically. Because when I say feed your spirit more than you feed your spirit, I mean in fasting. Amen. To feed your spirit, you got to fast.